In this tutorial, we'll create a microphone model like this. Such 3D models are often sold on various sites for several dollars, but you can create this on your own, following this tutorial. And it's quite easy, so let us start with a blank new file. We'll delete this default cube, and instead, we'll add one, cylinder. Let us move it up by one unit, and place it on the ground plane. Now, we need to change these scale factors to 0.15, and the Z scale should be 0.5. In the next step, go to the Modifiers tab. Let us add an Edge Split modifier. Then add a Subdivision Surface modifier. We have to use this Catmull Plark option, with a level of 2. Now minimize these modifiers, and add one, Simple Deform modifier. Switch over to the Taper option. Change the Taper axis to Z axis, and change this factor value to 0.6. To make it further smooth, you can enable the Shade Smooth option from here. For now we are done with this bottom part. Next we'll add a collar at the upper end of this part. So go to the Add menu and add another cylinder. We have to resize it, to make it smaller, so change these factors to 0.2, and the height should be very small, like 0.01. Then, we need to edit this collar and remove the top and the bottom surfaces. So go to the Edit mode and turn on the Face Selection mode. Then select this top surface, and hit X to bring this Delete menu, and select Faces. Then remove the bottom surface as well. Back to the Edit mode, first go to the Modifiers tab, and add a Subdivision Surface modifier. Change the levels to 2. Then add a Simple Deform modifier. Switch over to the Taper option like before, and select this Z axis. This time the factor value should be 0.04. We need to move this collar upward, and place it at the top. The collar actually holds the two parts together, the coil or the mouthpiece, and the main body of the microphone. So it should be placed between the two parts. Let us fine-tune this location here, as 1.51. We figured it out beforehand, by trial and error. Let us add some thickness to this collar. So go to the Modifiers tab. Minimize these modifiers, and add one Solidify modifier. Change the offset value to 0, and then change the thickness to 0 0.02. So we'll get a nice thickness added to this collar. And also, we can enable the Shade Smooth option, from the Object menu. But now it looks quite bad due to its wrong normals, so go to this Object Data Properties tab. Expand the section called Normals, and enable this Auto Smooth option. This will result in a perfect and sharp outlook. In the next step, we'll add a sphere which will form the coil part of the microphone. So go to the Add menu, and add an ICO sphere. Then open this operator box, and change the levels to 4. Now, we have to make it smaller in size and place it just above the collar of the microphone. So let us select these together and reduce the size like this. Or, we can use 0.25. Then, we need to move it up and place above the collar. We can fine-tune this value directly in this Z location, 1.68. Now, we also need a cover for this coil. So again from the Add menu, add another icosphere. And in the operator box, change the levels to 5. This cover should be a little bigger than the coil of the microphone, but their location should exactly be the same. So let us use 0.257 in its size factors. And the Z location should be 1.68 like before. Now for this cover part, we want to remove all the faces and create only a wireframe. So let us go to the edit mode. While all the faces are selected, hit X for the Delete menu, and select only faces. So the face data will be completely removed. Now back to the Object mode, we have to go to the Object menu, and then under Convert, select the Curve option. Now, go to the Curve tab. Then expand the Geometry section, and scroll down to the Bevel section. In the Depth field, let us enter 0.01. As a result, we'll get a wireframe model of our icosphere. And if you want, you can apply the Shade Smooth option, like before. So the cover part is almost ready, but we'll add a ring over here, around this cover. We can duplicate the collar part and reuse for this. It should be little bigger than the original part, and it has to be placed at this center. So let us increase their size little bit, matching the cover size. The correct value should be 0.267. Then we need to move it upward, and place it just below the center. 
Let us fine tune this by changing its Z value directly, it should be 1.67. Then go to the modifiers tab and expand the simple deform modifier. This angle should match with the sphere, so we'll change this factor value to 0 0.03. And we also need a thickness for this ring part, which we already have from this solidify modifier. We now need another ring, which will be a mirror image of the bottom ring. So let us duplicate this ring. And for this duplicate one, we have to simply change this factor to the opposite sign. Then, we have to move it up a little bit, so in the object properties, we'll change its Z location to 1.69. The two rings should meet back to back, without any gap between them. So, the cover is now looking nice. We are almost done with the entire microphone. You can keep it like this as well, but let us do some betterment. We'll create a section along this area of the main body. Let's do that. So select this body part, and then go to the edit mode. It looks like this, because we have some unapplied modifiers in the modifiers tab. If you hide this, it will again look normal. We'll now add a cut over here. So pick up the loop cut tool, and click once over here. Then open this operator box, and let's change this factor to minus 0.45. So the cut will move to this place. Now we need one more cut just below this, so click once more in the bottom part. And this time, the factor should be minus 0.97. So, as a result, we got a narrow region created over the microphone, and we'll convert this into a groove, with a slightly smaller radius. Let's turn on the face selection, and select any one face here. Then select the entire face ring. Now press E, to extrude, and press S, to resize. You can move your mouse to make it little smaller, or directly type 0.97, and enter. So we got a nice groove created on our microphone, but it will look even better with a bevel effect. So turn on the edge selection, and select any two edges from this top ring. Then select two more edges from the bottom ring as well. Now go to the select menu, and select the option of edge loops, so the two edge loops will get selected. Next, pick up the bevel tool. Then move this yellow handle, to add a small amount of bevel. Let us open this operator box, and change the bevel amount to 0 0.01. And the number of segments can be 5. You can change these values as per your preference. The groove is now looking nice with the bevel effect. A microphone is usually attached to a wire, so we will create a small hole in the bottom surface to make it complete. Let's turn on the face selection and select this bottom face. Then hit X and select faces, so the bottom face will be removed. Now in the vertex selection mode, select all these vertices like this. Now press E for extrude, then press S for resize, and you can move your mouse inward, to adjust the whole size, it should be small. Or you can use a number, let us type 0 .01, and enter. So we got a nice hole, which can be used to join a wire, to this microphone. Let's now go back to the object mode. And we can again enable this modifier. Our microphone model is finally ready. In the last step, we'll add some materials to different parts of the microphone. So let us first turn on the material view mode. Now select this main body, and go to the Materials tab. Create a new material, and for this body part, we'll change the base color to complete black. Then select this first icosphere, which is the coil part inside this cover. Now, create again a new material, and like before, we'll go with a black color for this part as well. But this time, we'll reduce the specular value to 0.1, which will give us a very deep diffused black. And this outer part or the cover can be either white or even black, depending upon the type of microphone that you're trying to create. For this particular model, we'll go with a black cover. So let us create a new material, and we'll use some color, very close to black, but not exactly black. So we'll use 0 0.02 in this value. With that setup, the cover looks good, and you can keep it like this, but I think it will look better with a flat shading, the smooth shading is not looking good in some places. So select the cover, and from the object menu, switch back to flat shading. Now it looks far better. And since it is technically still a curve object, if you want to make it smooth even with a flat shading, go to this curve tab, and scroll down. Then you can increase this resolution value, let's say we use 10, it will be very smooth. We'll now assign an aluminum-like material for this collar. And the same material for these rings as well. 
So go to the Materials tab, and create a new material. We'll go with the default values for the base color, but we'll increase the metallic property to 1. And the specular should be 0.2. We can also change the roughness to 0.4. Then the same material should be assigned for this ring. So we'll select it from this list. And same for the other one. You can also use a different material for the rings, maybe some golden color, that will also look good. So our model is ready. You can further improve on this design by adding more details, like you can add some logo, or some company name right at this place, it will look more professional. We have added our channel name, and this is the result that we got. If you need help on how to add this text, we have another tutorial on how to add text to a curved surface, the link is given in the video description. So I hope you'll enjoy creating this model. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.